The Union Ministry of Home Affairs has written to state governments to take strict action against those who have been found attacking the healthcare and frontline workers. The ministry has also asked states to ensure security to the medical fraternity. There are seven helpline numbers in the control room of the Union Home Ministry and now it has introduced two more helpline numbers. Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival on Friday said that there is still no community transmission of coronavirus in Delhi, but the government is prepared to handle even if it spreads, as the number of COVID-19 cases in the capital climbed to 384. Five more people have died in the national capital due to coronavirus, and one of them was a person who attended the Nizambuddin event. FIR has been filed against a 59-year-old man from southwest Delhi's Vasan Kunj on his son's complaint that he was violating lockdown norms. Since the outbreak of COVID-19 in India, over 50 people have lost their lives and more than 2,300 have tested positive for infection. Prime Minister Nain Modi today urged people across India to switch off their lights and hold candles, lamps and mobile flashlights at 9pm on Sunday, April 5th for 9 minutes in a nationwide show of solidarity to fight the darkness of coronavirus. Uttar Pradesh government has taken a serious view of the reports alleging some Tablighi Chamat members misbehaved with nurses at a Ghazibad hospital and ordered booking of the offenders under the stringent National Security Act on Friday. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath is reported to have told officials to not allow a repeat of Indore-like incident in the state. Singapore will close schools and most workplaces except for essential services like supermarkets and banks for a month as part of the stricter measures to stop the spread of coronavirus. While the city has won international praise for its efforts to stem the spread of virus, its infections have been rising sharply in recent weeks to 1,114 on Friday and five people have died so far.